Hi, Mrs. Lady. Hi. Here's the best table in the house for you, too. Uh, I hope it is for us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what can I get for you? Uh, I can just send over some menus just now. Right. That'd be perfect. Enjoy Thank you. yourselves. We will. Uh, you were right. You were what? Mm-hmm. What was that? Oh, well. The two gentlemen with Victor are uh, drug bosses. Yeah, I know. How do you know? Are you going to introduce me? No? Yes, you should get the charade on the road. Right? Victor, hello. Duke. I'd like to meet my wife, Anna. Anna, good one. Mrs. Landry. Hello. It's a pleasure I've been looking forward to. Anna, please also meet Anthony Sasso and Frank Holt. Nice to see you again. You already know these gentlemen? Yes. They were kind enough to come up and introduce themselves when I first moved into the apartment. It's very thoughtful of them. Good to see you again, Mrs. Lavery. Hey, it's a pleasure, Mrs. Lavery. Please, won't you join us? No, thank you, Victor. We'll go back to the room table. Why don't you carry on with your business? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jones. Thank you, but the honor is all mine. <laughs> and nice to see you again. Same here, Mrs. Lavery. Same for me. How did I do? Terribly good. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? I want to get a photo of these guys. You turned out to be. You know Duke and Anna were here and you didn't tell me. I know you were. That was dangerous. Got my picture. Don't push your luck. about where you're going. Ah, I can see I have good reason to be. Well, you'll get used to it. What, you've had this before? Well, this is pop food. This is what you eat on a cold winter night after you've been up staking out the house. I think I'd rather be a criminal. Just kidding. <laughs> you know it would be good if we could have a coffee machine up here? Is it the Yeah. Good idea. I'll talk to Rodolfo. I'll do it straight away. Great. It's quite good, that man, you know. He runs the club very well. Yeah, he does. He's the one bright spot in this whole business. I don't know what I'd do without him. Ah, uh, let me handle breakfast in the future, huh? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm going to take my coffee into the bedroom and finish dressing. Do me a favor while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Finish the sandwich. with the morning medications, all right? Oh, good morning. It is for you. I'm going to need your help scheduling the student nurses until Audrey comes back. Oh, uh, really? That sure of yourself? Yes. Until then, it's going to be up to the two of us to keep things moving along. All right, Jesse? Thank you. Don't worry about me. I can take care of Victor. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we will be three of you. Fine. Tomorrow. You trying to get proper work for the girls? Yes, yeah, some of them. Clean most of them up off of drugs. Maybe get a few of them in college. Really? Well, I'm going to try. You don't think they're prostitutes because it's fun, do you? And I'm sure they don't like being pawed by a bunch of drunks every night. 
They do it because they don't know how else to make a living. And make a damn sight more money doing that than they would in the outside world. I think if they're offered an alternative way of life, then they'll probably go for it. You should have been a social worker. Well, the education for that. I think in many ways I am a social worker. I mean, nobody understands humanity more than a, a bartender, for example. Or nobody sees the worst of the best of people than a nightclub manager. That's why I've been able to turn half the Jerome family legitimate. I know what I'm doing, Anna. Yes? Anna, is that you? Yes. It's Olivia. I didn't expect you to be in this early. Has the shuttle added an earlier flight? We came in last night. How are you, Olivia? I'm fine. Fine? So do it came in with you? Of course. Good. Uh, listen, Anna, could you please ask him to come over and see me? I think we should talk before his first meeting. Oh, right. I think I may be able to help explain the personalities involved, that kind of thing. Of course. That's very nice of you. And, uh, one other thing? Yes? Maybe we should get together. Do you think you could come by later? Oh, well, I just might do that. Well, I'd love to. So I'll talk to you later then. Yeah. Yes. Bye. <sighs> Let's see how you play in my ballpark, Mrs. Lavery. So she wants to discuss this meeting you're having tomorrow morning. Okay, she's right. <laughs> you can trust her. I've got to make an effort to trust her, Anna. I mean, she's Julian's sister. And Victor's daughter. Victor wants out of the rackets, and as far as I know, well, Olivia's never been in them. Whatever. Anyway, go and see her, and uh, then bring her back here because I want to talk to her. Maybe you shouldn't waste your time on Olivia. She's very ambitious, and she's never been on the inside of the Jerome family. Yeah. Well, be careful. Yeah. See you later. I'll be in touch with you regarding your appraisal. I'll look for your call. Thank you. Nice seeing you again. What a pleasant surprise. It's nice to see you so busy, considering October stock market crash. Oh, it actually helped us. Art is the big investment these days. In fact, we're doing so well, I may just take off for a little while and let the store run itself. Welcome back to New York. Mm -hmm. 